Alan, tell us the story of the bike riders. All right. So the story of the bike riders is based on a, uh, I guess, a coffee book table that came out uh, a couple years ago. A coffee a table, a, co a coffee table book, not a coffee. Yeah, did book I not table. say that? Did you I said coffee that? book table. Okay. Coffee table book. I'm uh, the one with the stroke, just yes. to be clear. All, All right. right. Go ahead. Good. The, this is why we win awards for our reviews, by the way. Yes. Our <laughs> award-winning haphazard reviews. All okay. right. Go, Alex. So this, this uh, movie is loosely based on that coffee table book. And um, it, it's basically the, the, the origins of the, the bike, biker gangs. Uh, Tom uh, Tom Hardy is the guy. His character started it. I, like I said, my computer's falling apart, so I can't get to my notes. Um, he starts this biker gang. Uh, is joined by uh, the Austin Butler character, and then uh, it's infiltrated by the Jodie Comer character, who falls in love with Austin Butler, uh, and they get married. And then she becomes a part of this uh, this this community of bikers. And it just kind of shows the uh, the evolution over time that it started off kind of as a as a club for men uh, who had who are high on testosterone, and um, and then soon becomes uh, kind of the the underworld underground uh, criminal enterprise uh, by the end of the movie, um, and so uh, you just kind of follow that. Uh, Austin Butler's character is interesting because he's just kind of this angry, violent guy. And uh, Jodie Comer is the wife who uh, who loves the bad boys. Uh, Tom Hardy is the family man who who finds uh, that uh, the the community that he's in fulfilling. There's a great deal of violence in this movie, but I, I call it real violence. Um, there are fights that occur in this one, and I liken these fights to a, as if as if Chris and I had gotten into a fist fight. That's what these <laughs> fights would look like. <laughs> and, uh, ugly, maybe uh, ugly fights. Yeah, um, I'll say this. Uh, I liked it, but uh, there's a point where you just have to get over Jodie Comer's accent. And once you get over yeah. her accent, the movie actually becomes pretty good. Yeah, a cu couple things. Let me comment on this. Uh, Austin Butler plays, plays Benny. Jodie Comer is Kathy. Um, Tom Hardy is uh, Johnny. They're the more, mostly the three that we focus on. Um, amazing. They are so amazing in these roles. And I didn't even know there's, there's a character named Funny Sonny who's like got bad teeth, or whatever. It's Norman yeah. Reedus. And Michael yeah. Shannon is, <laughs> is in it too. It's And also, by the way, I used to ride a motorcycle. I rode a 1972 Triumph Daytona for over 10 years. That was how I got around. Um, and it just made me want to ride my bike again. I don't have a motorcycle now. It's really dangerous in LA because people are always on their phones. But this brought me back to the passion for riding a motorcycle, the smell of gasoline and oil and metal. And I love it. I, I still have my motorcycle boots and leather jackets. Like I kept them all. Um, but the passion for riding is in this and this loose gang that kind of mm -hmm. spreads across the country uh, is really interesting. It it is based on these real tapes and videos by this uh, Danny, and so part of the movie is done kind of documentary style, where he Danny is interviewing uh, Kathy, played by Jodie Comer, and you hear her just tell the story, and then they cut to the story. So I thought it was very well done, and I really loved it, except for one aspect. It, when I when I point it out, you're going to notice it too. There's okay. a character that is integral to the final act, a tragic event that happens in the final act, mm -hmm. this this character. And what I what's weird about it is they show too much of this character. You're like, this character isn't one of the main characters. Why do they keep showing him? And they show his bad family life. They show that he's beaten by his father, that his mother is even treats him badly. And it's like, they want you to feel sorry for this person who ends up doing something horrible. And I found that really weird. Like I, that didn't sit well with me that they tried to yeah, give me well, sympathy. What's that? Oh, I'm, I'm just saying that the, the character was brought in specifically just for the ending. 
exactly you know, to, exactly to, yeah exactly so um yeah that like it just didn't sit well with me at all so um i still love the mood the tone of it the music the era the clothes mm -hmm. like the passion for writing the the sort of like way that the 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 narrative kind of like like you know uh goes from this perspective to others to and showing you how it's i thought it could have been way more violent way mm -hmm. more violent we know about bike bike culture and what has, can happen it could have been way worse so i thought it was it made yeah, me want to get the book yeah. actually yeah i mean it, it i to me it was violent and it's very clunky violent that that's i think the thing that that really stuck out to me was there's this authenticity of the violence that that there was no finesse there was no um, coolness to the violence. It was just right. fists, fists and faces, uh, knives and guns. And, and um, the other thing is what 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 I appreciate about this film and, and the story. Basically, it, it, the story felt Shakespearean to me. Um, mm. You know, it's the rise of a king and then the downfall of the king, and right. uh, and then the the prince who was uh, you know the the reluctant prince, um, and. Uh, to me, it was like uh, it was Shakespeare, but with the most uh, Luddite uh, dialogue possible, and um, and so there was it was just really fascinating to watch, um, and uh, I, I think that's why I liked it. Uh, you know, I, it it was uh, I was not looking forward to seeing this movie. I, I came out very much appreciating this movie. Yeah, so I would say, like, look, it's not there are a lot of flaws. It's rough around the edges. It went on maybe a little too long, but uh, I am giving this film a recommendation. I just like it yeah. because I love this world. It was a very manly movie. Lots of sweat, grease, gasoline, a lot of testosterone. We don't get that in films now. So, Although there so was not a lot of diversity in this movie. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know what this movie <laughs> proves? You know what this movie proves? You don't need diversity to make a good movie. Bingo. There you go. So I recommend it. Alan, do you recommend it? I recommend it, yeah. I recommend I think it. You liked it I, was, I, I was expecting to like it more. And I didn't like it as much as mm -hmm. you, Alan.